Okay, how to take a clip in Premiere with stereo audio with one track of audio and change it into two tracks of mono audio. And I'll show you how it's done quickly. You just go to your clip in your bin that has stereo audio that's showing up as one track. Right click on it, go to modify, choose audio channels, click on that. And then here where it says clip channel format, change that to mono. Where it says number of audio clips, change that to two. And then click anywhere out of that, and you'll see it says clip one is left, clip two is right. But these are mono audio channels, so they'll come out of both sides of your speakers. So when I click OK, because I already have this clip in a sequence, it's going to put up a warning saying I can't change this current sequence. You'll have to relay this video into a new sequence. So I'll say, OK, here's the warning. It's basically saying, look, I can't change what you've already done, but next time you apply this to a new, a new sequence, your audio will be split into two mono tracks on your timeline. So I'll say yes, and you'll see this does not change. But if I take the same clip, create a new sequence out of it, just like this, and then watch what happens. Now I have two channels of mono audio on two separate tracks. So that's how you do it. That might be all you need, so you can stop watching this video now. If you're wondering why this would even be an issue, I'll explain that. The reason this happens is that, at least in my instance, a lot of times what I'll do is record with a lavalier mic as well as a shotgun mic. Those go into a mixer. That ends up being the lavalier is a left channel, shotgun mic's the right channel. Out of the mixer, into my camera with one stereo cable. So the camera records this as one stereo track. And when I bring it into Premiere, Premiere just sees it as a stereo track, puts it into one track of audio, which I then want to split. Because now what you're seeing is one of these is a lavalier and one of these is a shotgun. And I can isolate whichever one I do or don't want. Usually one's better than the other one. So that's a quick look at the how and the why for splitting stereo audio tracks in Premiere into mono tracks. And I hope this helped.